DNA screening could prevent many diseases, gene therapy could cure them, and thanks to lab-grown organs, the human body could be repaired as easily as a car, with spare parts readily available. Ultimately, the aging process itself could be slowed down or even halted. Hi, I'm Joy Ephonium, and today we'll look at the re re revolution in genetics and biotechnology, which promises unprecedented health and longevity, but also raises the specter of a Frankenstein future of genetically engineered people. Will we, as transhumanist expert, evolve into a new species? Well, let's find out. work on pea plants in the 1850s may have pioneered the field of genetics, but it wasn't until the discovery of chromosomes that really did set things off. During the 1900s, Thomas Hunt Morgan found that genes are located on chromosomes and some may be sex-linked while working on fruit flies. Years later, Bidu and Tatum, were, who were working on bread mold, came up with the one gene, one enzyme hypothesis, and a further 10 years, we find that Barbara McClintock discovered transposons which may cause genes to mutate. Later, the Hershley and Chase experiment was able to conclude that DNA is the genetic material just by using a blender. And then comes the infamous Watson and Crick model of a DNA structure. Soon after, biological scissors known as restriction enzymes were discovered leading to RNA splicing and later DNA fingerprinting in 1985, which gave rise to the world of forensic science. These discoveries are essential in our research to improve the human life. We can see that genetics is used to make genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, just like the golden rice. Human insulin can now be made from using bacteria to cure diabetes. Drugs are now engineered on a molecular level to cure diseases. Tissues and organs even can now be grown in the lab to replace damaged ones. All this and more made possible by genetic engineering. One recent example is where a group of doctors managed to use a woman's red cartilage to grow a new ear on her hand and later attach it to her head. And now, there are certain types of cancer that can be cured. Other recent breakthroughs include the debunking of our junk DNA. Researchers have now found that some of the many thousands of unused genes that don't code for any proteins in our body are actually regulators. In this way, there's some hope to cure gene-related diseases like cystic fibrosis once and for all. In the possibly near future, we each may have our own little CD-ROM where we can store all our medical information inside as well as our genetic information. With this, when we go to the doctors for a health checkup or during an emergency, we no longer have to tell them of our medical history because it is all easily accessible in the CD-ROM. So therefore, fast treatment may be delivered with little hassle. Mere school children may have their own typewriter that is able to type the four basic bases of DNA, namely A, C, G, and T. And this, they, with this, they can create a different kind of life forms for their school science project. With new findings in genetics, we may be able to manipulate life at the most fundamental level, change our genetic heritage, enhance our abilities, and even shape the evolution of mankind. Thank you for watching.